So to beat all the great escape modes, I would say it really depends on what skills you choose, but before we get into the best skills, let's head over to some basic points first that you need to do for all the maps. Standing still can quite literally kill you, as the grannies can get a better aim on you, and when you get past level 10, they start throwing fireballs at you, which only go in one straight line. So never run in a complete straight line for too long, either so you can dodge these fireballs, and if you do stand still, make sure you're far, far away, where you know the grannies are coming, and you can spam hit till they get near enough where their fireballs can reach you, then you can run away again. That being said to not stand still, you literally need to stand still so your character can even use auto attack. And as I said, that's how you will surely die by just standing there and not moving. Remember to always constantly be moving if you want to ensure that you take the least amount of damage and that you can get to the next stage. For all the maps, leveling up your items are very, very important. It makes playing a lot much easier and gives you more HP and does more damage on pursuers. I will probably make a separate video on this explaining this and what you should be looking for when leveling up your items. Okay, so now let's talk about the best skills to use. First, depending on the weapon you're using, it can help with what you're looking to choose. I personally always choose puppet so I can run and drop a puppet as they run after me and still do damage without having to turn around and hit them. And so these skills are just my personal opinion and what I always choose that help me beat all the maps in Great Escape. So I will be explaining the skills into separated categories and what's more important to get first than others. Because what if they present both of the skills you want at the same time? So I will explain which to choose over the other one. For the types of shooting style, in order from the most important to the least, I would choose multiple shot, double shot, and diagonal shot. Here's what they would look like all together. And at that point, I already feel pretty powerful. So if you choose double shot twice, it will turn into three rocks at a time in the middle. And if you choose diagonal shot twice, it will turn into five different rocks shooting out. For additional weapon rocks from most important to least, I would always go for healing shot, dummy shot, explosion shot, then poison shot. If you ever see a healing shot in general, you should just take it immediately. As for enhancers for your character and your weapon, from most important to least, I would go for wall rebound, max HP up, attack speed up, and then attack power up. Now let's talk about what's most important to get out of all of them, in general, without the categories since these are given to you by random. The most important ones that you should always choose above all others that if you see these, you have to get these is of course extra life and healing ball. You need an extra life in case you die, but if you can't get that, then choose healing ball so you can at least heal yourself if you get injured. Next in line, that is super important if you see it is multiple shots, so at least you're getting more damage than just one rock. I would then go for a diagonal shot, then double shot, since you really want your rocks to spray out at pursuers. And that leads us to the next most important skill, wall rebound. Now you might be wondering why this one would be important, that's because you have to aim to hit, but with wall rebound, you can literally just run and spray rocks everywhere and not even have to aim to kill. If you're like me and you just like to keep running around, wall rebound is for you. Next we have the dummy shot. Dummy shot is basically like the beater rock in story mode where a pursuer will stand there and try to hit something that's not there. That's why paralysis shot was not in my top skill list because it's literally the same thing. Dummy is just better because instead of just stunning momentarily, they stay at the same spot thinking there's something there. Also, let me show you why dummy shot is so great, especially for the boss. As you can see, it makes the boss battles much faster and easier so you really don't have to worry about the last stage. The rest that was in the list and I didn't mention just now doesn't really matter what order you get them in, just as long as you somehow get it. But if you got most of the skills I said were best to have or were in like the top 10, you're in great hands and you'll most likely win if you follow the basic tips and choose the correct skills. I hope this helped you, I will be making a separate video explaining how to beat the mini bosses on all of the map stage 10 rooms and a video on, as I said, what you're looking for when you're leveling up your things.